ears. I'll say it again. It's 12.33 p.m. June 4th. Where these world domination guys are, when I'm finding out, is they're trying to take over the world. They set up a plan to take over the world. They're carrying out implantation terrorism, hand-tying exercises, and they didn't even have a plan related to what they wanted to do after they took over the world. They didn't have a government, didn't have a system. They, had to, they didn't even have a system set up for how they wanted to run the world. Didn't have anyone set up, sign off of it, sign off on it. They don't even know a lot about every country around the world. They don't know about the businesses, the laws. They don't know about the cultures. They wouldn't even understand how to create a global government that everyone would agree upon. There's a lot of countries. There are a lot of different people. There's a lot of different cultures. There's a lot of different laws. There's a lot of different ways countries, cities, etc., make money, and laws influence all these things. So they're trying to take over the world and carry out a plan. And like, you know, let's say they succeeded. What are they going to do after? They didn't even know. They didn't even have a plan for what they wanted to do once they took over the world. How they would run it, amongst all these other things that would be involved with, like running a country, for example. Think about running the goddamn globe. So I don't know what these guys are about, mad about. They were trying to murder me, frame me. I wasn't trying to be murdered or framed, nor was I trying to see them enslave mankind or me or my family. And I'm still fighting against these people. They're still holding me hostage. They've chilled out, so someone's probably regulating. But they may just be on good behavior and devising another plan or strategy. Not sure what they're doing because they, they ain't in prison on paper. But I'm up. And I, no one's told me anything. So they also pretend to arrest people, but don't. That's a key piece of this. So if you think the threat's over, that's just a way, that's their tactic where they, you know, pretend to arrest people, pretend the threat's gone, and no one's in prison on paper in the federal pen. So don't fall for it. Don't be tricked. Don't get lulled to sleep. And uh, they wait for things to die down, as they put it, and um, uh, people to lose interest. And then they uh, supposedly, you know, come back and start doing illegal shit. But yeah, they were trying to carry out a terrorist agenda, a global terrorist agenda. Had no plan with what they would do after take, they took the, took over the world and were just implanting and doing X, Y, and Z. They didn't even ponder, you know, what it would be like to run the world. They didn't even ponder what it would be like to run the whole globe. They didn't even ponder how much time it would take just to get through, you know, one or two agendas related to, you know, their global government. They don't even ponder these things. I mean, tell them to do some mathematics. You'll see it's really hard. It would be really hard to donate, you know, the time you need to certain issues, certain global issues as a global government with, you know, 150 plus countries that you have to deal with communicating with. Do the math. See how long it would take to discuss. Don't. I already did an estimate a long time ago, but see how much time it would take to discuss a topic with the whole globe for 20 minutes answer questions and do it effectively and efficiently. Not just talk at some people and then expect to do stuff. Like, I'm talking about doing something effectively and efficiently. Asking the right questions, hearing from them, you know, back and, back and forth, not just talking to people. Now, see how long, how much time they'd have to donate to one issue to talk to every representative of each country in every sector, whatever, what have you. Take a really long time. Uh, one calculation I did, it'd, it'd take a month to talk to maybe like 10 representatives from each country about one issue, something like that. And that's just countries, we're not even talking about other stuff. But um, uh, yeah, they didn't even have a plan. And they were tra carrying out a plan to take over the world and didn't even know what they wanted to do with the world. Uh, so yeah, before you take, so Mr. Tell, before you try to take over the world and start implanting and carrying out a plan, then you need a plan for what you need to do with the world once you take it over. Because I don't think they're thinking about that. Yeah. You know, you don't take over the world to have a story to tell. You don't take over the world just so you can, like, say, you know, I took over the world. You know, it's not a good idea. You know, people are even trying to take over countries. People might kill you. Uh, or other people. I mean, all sorts of stuff could happen. So someone needs to tell them that. This is key. Praise Jesus, man.